Hey you guys, it's Lauren, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about another exciting foundation release, the new It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. This release had me so excited because I'm just such a fan of their original CC creams, especially in their matte version. I have a super dry skin, and this just wears so nicely over my texture and dry patches. And I saw that the Confidence in a Foundation had a velvet matte finish, but yet it was long wearing. And that had me so intrigued because while I love the wear of this, it just doesn't have the longest lasting power. So the fact that I could get a velvet matte finish from this and it's going to be a full coverage, long wearing foundation, I was just so pumped to try this out. So I'll share my thoughts with you guys. I'm going to do a try on and then a check in. And in the end, I'll let you guys know if this is going to replace my CC matte. Because I have to tell you, there's not too many matte foundations out there that beats the look of this for me, so we'll see if the wear time can beat this. So stay tuned, we have lots to get through, and yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. So I ended up picking this up through QVC. They had a great deal going on. It This foundation retails for $32 across the board, but through QVC it also came with this cute little It Cosmetics bag. Sorry guys, I don't know what I'm smoking, but the deal was actually through ItCosmetics.com. The QVC deal is the deal I got with my ItCC matte. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I got a free brush with that, and I think that's what I was I thinking about. This was so fun. So this was free with purchase, and then I also had a coupon code through through Retail Me Not. I think that's still available. I'll leave that down below if it is, but my cost came to like $20. So I think that was a great price for what is contained in this foundation. It has some really great ingredients in here, but this is one fluid ounces and it claims to be a long wear, weightless, full coverage foundation with a velvet matte finish. And it comes in 40 different shades. It's oil free. It's supposed to feel weightless on the skin. It covers the look of blemishes, redness, dark spots, and other imperfections without creasing or cracking. And as far as the ingredients, Go. Like I said, there are so many great things in here. We have ceramides, peptides. The peptides come down at the bottom of the ingredient list, but there's four different ones, so that was really great to see. And then there's hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, squalene. So, so many different like skin plumping ingredients, things that are just going to keep your skin smooth and bouncy looking. There's also licorice root in here, so that's known to help to keep your skin bright and just to even out your skin tone. So, so many great things in here. Now, it doesn't have the SPF that the CC creams do, but I was okay with that because sometimes mineral sunscreens can dry out my skin even more. So just so many skin benefiting and nourishing ingredients in here. So super excited and yeah, we'll get to the try on. All right, so first off, let's see how these shades compare. So looking at the bottles, it looks like my shade light in the CC cream looks a little darker than the shade nude that I picked up. So let me swatch these and see. We'll start with the confidence in a foundation first. Any day now. Alright, so this, it looks actually pretty thick. I don't know, I was expecting it to be a little bit more runny. I don't know why. I guess that's what I expect from a foundation that comes from a glass bottle. Is that just me? I don't know. But yeah, I'm actually excited to see that it's a little bit thicker. It feels really smooth. Okay, so that looks like it'll be a good match. Let me see how that compares to the CC Matte. Okay, so I'm a little nervous here. The Confidence in a Foundation looks a lot more yellow toned. The CC Matte looks a little bit more ashy toned, and it's actually a lot darker than the shade Nude in Confidence in a Foundation. So hopefully this will be a good shade match for me. I am always surprised though how well the CC Matte adapts to my skin tone depending on how pale I am or if I'm on the tanner side. So we will see how this pans out. Okay, so we'll start with the confidence in a foundation. Okay, so I made sure to prep my skin really well. I went in with my Smashbox primerizer all over my face, and then I just filled in my pores with my Catrice Pore Filler. I think, what is it called? Oh, Prime and Fine is what it's called. Supposedly people compare that to the Tatcha Primer. I have not tried the Tatcha Primer yet, so I cannot compare, but I love it. I think it does a great job with filling in pores. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Sigma brush. This is the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. Holy crap, I can already tell the coverage is amazing. This is covering everything. Oh my god. The shade I'm still a little nervous about. I think it might be a little too light for me, but that's okay. We'll make it work. It's feeling really lightweight. And it's spreading really nicely. Wow, okay, so that is with one layer. I think I'm just gonna go with one layer. I have plenty of coverage and I don't wanna get to the point where I'm caking it up. So yeah, we're just gonna compare one layer of each and we'll see. 
Now let's go in with this CC Matte. I'm gonna use, you know what, I'm gonna use an IP brush. This is the CC Skin Perfecting Brush. I actually got this brush as a set with the CC Matte through QVC. Hopefully they still have this deal, but I bought this when, I wanna say the brush and the CC Matte was like $30 for the two of them. So it was a great buy. I hope they still have the deal. If they do, I'll try and link it down below. It just applies the CC creams so smoothly and it's the perfect little size. Sorry, it's like super dirty. Oh, the CC creams just go on so effortlessly. That's why I love them so much. You really don't have to work with them. They go on nice and smooth. You know what you're getting with them every time you get the coverage, the hydration, and they're just so easy to work with. Okay, so here's what we're working with with our side-by-side -side comparison. I'm pleasantly surprised that the Confidence in a Foundation side actually looks like it's going to be a pretty good shade match. I think it dried down a few shades darker, so I think I'll be able to work with the shade. It's definitely lighter than the CC Matte side, but we'll be able to make it work. And as far as the finish goes, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The Confidence in a... I keep saying Confidence in a Cream. The Confidence in a Foundation side is just that beautiful, like, satin, almost dewy. I shouldn't say dewy because it's definitely not like the It's CC Illumination, but it does have a little bit of a glow to it. You can see at the top of my cheeks I have a slight sheen, so I would not say that this is a matte finish whatsoever, but I love that it gives some life to the skin and it just looks really youthful and hydrated, so loving the finish of the Confidence in a Foundation. The It's CC Matte side is obviously a little bit more matte, but it's more of a demi-matte finish, which is why I love it. It also has a little bit of life to the skin and as far as accentuating texture I will say that the CC matte side looks a little bit more smooth I feel like on the confidence in a cream side my pores are highlighted slightly right next to my nose not too bad definitely not as bad as what is that foundation called the tape the shape Shape tape? No. The Face Tape Foundation by Tarte. I felt like that really accentuated texture. Not as bad as that, but it's definitely sinking into my pores a little bit more on the side. And then the lines on my forehead, I don't really think it sunk into my fine lines, but they're definitely a little bit more accentuated on my forehead. And yeah, but the finish is still really gorgeous. I'm loving it so far. But neither side is breaking up yet. My face looks really hydrated. So I'll be excited to see how this wears. So yeah, see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, so it's like 9.30 at night so my foundation looks great just ignore the eyeliner situation I don't know I thought I loved this eyeliner this is a Sigma like felt tip eyeliner and I don't know what the heck is going on but just ignore that we'll talk about the foundation so on the confidence in a foundation side I feel like the coverage held up so well I feel like as compared to the matte side you can see more melasma on this side the confidence in a foundation side I just feel like Everything looks still really covered. My sunspot is still poking through, but overall the finish still looks really good. So I'm really excited about this, loving the finish. It did start to break up in certain areas, like around my nose, and it settled into some of my pores. And then even up on my forehead, I just felt like, I don't know where my dry patches were. It definitely enhanced some flakiness and some texture. So yeah, not a big fan of that. But besides it highlighting some dry areas, the coverage looks great, held up really well. I am just such a fan though of the finish of this foundation. It's just that perfect satin skin-like finish. It really reminds me a lot of my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. That foundation is one of my favorites. It's really long wearing. So if you're a fan of that, I feel like you would really like this. So will this replace my CC creams? I'm gonna say yes for when I want a long wear, when I want my foundation to last, when I want high coverage, because this really did hold up really well. I love the lasting power of this, but I will say, when my skin is on the drier side, I'm gonna still reach for my CC creams. There is just nothing that compares to these formulas, especially if you have dry skin. They just float over any texture, and they just make your skin look so smooth and flawless. So when my skin is drier, I'll reach for this. But if my skin is feeling more balanced and I want some lasting power, I will definitely be reaching for this. This is gonna stay in my foundation rotation for sure. I just love the finish of this so much. It's a natural, gorgeous finish. Not matte, I don't know where they're getting a matte finish from, but I still, nonetheless, I loved how gorgeous and skin-like this looks. So I would definitely recommend this. If you're looking for a foundation that has good for your skin ingredients, there's not too much out there that beats this. This just feels so good going onto the skin. I love the finish of it, the weightless feel, and I love the lasting power. Share your comments down below if you've tried this out and let us know your skin type. I would love to know if it worked for you. And yeah, I always love hearing from you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.